series of YouTube tutorials uh, in MATLAB. So uh, a few days ago I did Newton Robson method and this time we're going to do what I would consider a better implementation. Slightly more complicated but better. So not all the code fits on screen. So lines two, three, and four I've mentioned several times. So if I just scroll down, just to so there we all are. So so on line six we're going to invoke the symbolic maths toolbox. On line seven I define the function that we're going to find the root of x cubed minus x minus one. And on line eight we're going to differentiate it, and we're going to differentiate it using the symbolic maths toolbox command diff. So on line eight, diff fn will be 3x squared minus 1. Line 9, simple output. On line 10, we're going to input our initial guess, and then we're going to use a cast operator, double. So we're just going to make sure that uh, x is of type double. On line 11, the number of my iterations is 0. And on line 12, I've initialized my delta to be a big value, 100, just something fairly big. Now, I've done the while loop, and I suppose I could be criticized for not doing the percentage change. But I'm just saying here on line 13, just highlighting there. Whilst the change in successive terms is greater than 1 by 10 to the minus 6, you keep get, going for a new guess. So it's as good as that. So we keep looping. So this from line 13 down to line 21 is a while loop. It's a conditional loop, a loop with an if, if you want to think of it. And we keep looping whilst the change in successive turns is greater than 1 by 10 to the minus 6. On line 14, I substitute the value of x, what's x, my initial guess, into function. So just say I put in 1.5. I am putting x, 1.5, into the function that. So I get x cubed minus x minus 1. So that would be 1.5 cubed minus 1.5 minus 1, and I get my value. And then that would be of type symbol. And then I wanted to make it a double. I wanted it to be a number. So I use my cast operator double there. Same line on line 15. I substitute my initial guess, 1.5, one of a better word, into the differentiation of the function. And remember, the differentiation of the function is got on line 8. And so my function is at x cubed minus x minus 1. And there, I should say, I'm getting, uh, that's 3x squared uh, minus 1. So I'm banging in 1.5 into 3x squared minus 1. On line 16, I'm getting my new term in the newton raphson method. And on line 17, I get the change. Didn't get the percentage change. I got just got the change now. If you're being critical, you should say I get. I should get a percentage change. But we're all right. And one or two of my students are asking me, what does abs do? Abs gets the absolute value. So remember, uh, we just said why did on line thirteen the delta is greater than one e to the minus six. So I've got to keep all my changes positive. So whilst the change is greater than 1 million to 1 by 10 to the minus 6. Keep going. Uh, line 18, uh, my x equals the new x. I change the number of iterations by 1. I print out uh, here. Some, just causing some confusion with my students as well. So they, were, they didn't know what the 2d meant. So there are two variables at the end i and delta so the i is associated with this lot and the delta is associated with that so the, 
what does this mean? Print it as a decimal. And the point zero here says don't print any decimal places. So I'll just give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the 3.8F, I will say, now in theory, it's three numbers before the decimal place. That's a 999, but it will actually print more. Like if it's 5,000, it will print it. And the point eight means print eight numbers after the uh, decimal place. And the F is for float. Okay, so you keep looping, and once the change is less than one million, we stop, we kick out of the loop, and then on line 22, I print out a root of the function is whatever. So let's just, I've run this already, just scrolled that up so we can see what's going on. I might maximize this. Scroll up. So, um, there we are. So, I put in for this one, I put in an initial guess of one thousand two hundred and fifty. So we go through the iteration, we got the delta, delta after 2 is 277, after 8 it's 24, after 13 it's 3.19, after 17 it's 0.5, after 21 it's 0 0.5 knots, 4.42, after 22. So after 22, now I've only printed the 8 decimal places, so it's obviously around the 9th to the 10th, we get the delta. So we stop then and then lastly there i print out the value of the function okay hope that helps a little thanks very much for listening